if I win today, they will clinch a playoff spot, the division, and if the Chargers lose a first round bye, but they have to take on the pesky Pittsburgh Steelers who they give them gave them trouble this series the Browns lost to the Steelers earlier this season at home and now they have to go to Heinz Field. And the Steelers fighting for a playoff spot. The Steelers can still win it win the division if they beat the Browns. And then they win next week and the Browns lose the Browns at home next week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Antonio Brown. And the Steelers hoping they can get this big win. Oh, crazy overtime victory against the San Diego Chargers last week. As that's how the Browns can play the first round by because they have the tiebreaker over San Diego. As Martavis Bryant gave the first down. First 10 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Le'Veon Bell for the second round pick the back in the backfield. Over the back. He is laid out by Gabriel Roundtree. I'm surprised Le'Veon Bell is still alive after that. The former Auburn Tiger now in his second year. Once he was moved to middle linebacker for the beginning of the season, he has adjusted very well. Clinch a first round by correction. I didn't realize the Chiefs were ten and four off, so I knew the Jets were. Sorry about. Oh wait, no, the Chargers lead the division. I for, oh, I'm confused now. This big Barry Davenport there gaining seventeen. Sorry about my confusion to you. You guys are all probably now confused. Also. Ten on the thirty-nine four. The Cleveland Browns offense is Cody looking for Barry Davenport once again. And he gets that first down. That time he gained 19. First and 10 on the 31 4. The Cleveland Browns could start from passing game 3 for 3 for over 50 yards here on this first drive. As Cody scrambling and he would be sacked by Jenkins, Jelani Jenkins, who was signed by the Browns a few offseasons ago, then traded for a first round pick, which was linebacker Gabriel Roundtree. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, second and nine. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, Roethlisberger and Bell in the backfield. Over to Bell, no, to fake it, he will be sacked by the safety, DJ Tubbs, the rookie. Here comes Cleveland, as Pittsburgh was not able to do anything on their second drive. So here comes up the Browns. They had a good first drive, but weren't able to put up any points as Moses Cody finds the flash. Linval Boye for a game of 16. Oh, no, no, no. This is a similar situation where the Browns were on their last drive. Driving down the field nicely, but then a big defensive play gets them third and long. And then they're almost in field goal range, but I mean, after last week, that was just pitiful. And Jelani Jenkins with that sack. And looks like Roberto Aguayo won't get a field goal chance. Here comes Pittsburgh, Roethlisberger, and Bell in the backfield. And off to Bell, and fumble! Forced by Matthew, but the Steelers do recover. Second and two for the Pittsburgh Steelers on the 30-yard line. It's Roethlisberger over to Bell! But Zystik Youngblood is there, a second-year man from Tennessee with having a career year. Four picks, many sacks, around 14 or so. 39 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Roethlisberger Bell in the Steelers' backfield. About five and a half minutes until halftime. Roethlisberger under pressure, and he gets sacked by the rookie from USC, Marvin Fulcher. He had a big day a few weeks ago against Atlanta, and he gets that big sack on third down. Take another look. Beauty. The third round draft pick. Second and ten on the 34. I know why the Browns have no points. They're driving down the field well, but Corey Coleman, their best receiver, has not been getting involved. But Moses Cody is sacked by Cam Hayward. Now it's third and 19. Oh, it's probably the best receiver in the league. So if he's not involved, there's obviously going to be something wrong. Is Cody looking down the field for Barry Davenport, but instead it's intercepted by Kendall Fuller. The former Virginia Tech hookie. Third and seven on the 27. About three minutes left until halftime. Roethlisberger under pressure. Finds Wheaton who somehow gets the first. First and ten on the 38-yard line for the Steelers. It's Roethlisberger and Bell in the backfield. Over to Bell. No, it's a fake. It's going to be a pass. As Roethlisberger finds Martavis Bryant. He makes it to the Browns' side of the field at the 43. the 43 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now at the two-minute warning here. Only 3 nothing Steelers. Two of the best offenses in the league. No scoring. As Roethlisberger looking down the field. What a catch by Antonio Brown. One hand and two feet in back.
Browns. Let's take another look at that. For rookie Eduardo Cleveland with the coverage. Absolutely phenomenal. Catch by Brown. One handy catch. Boom, boom. Both feet and bounce. 10 on the 22 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Definitely taking their time here on this drive. Brown's only three drives in the first half. As Roethlisberger finds Martavis Bryant, who makes it to the three. And goal on the two for the Steelers. Or the three, sorry. About a minute and a half left. Both teams have all their timeouts. As Roethlisberger finding it. Marcus Wheaton, I believe that. No, that's Sammy Coates, sorry. I think that's Sammy Coates. Yeah, it is Sammy Coates. Touchdown Steelers. Second and ten on the 30. Browns going no huddle. They don't have all day here. As Cody looking for the flash. Boye with a nice first down on the screen. Left exactly. Ball on the Steelers, or the Browns, sorry, 42. First down. Both teams have all three timeouts. Cody looking for David Johnson on the screen. Johnson has a first down. Johnson has more and makes it to the 37. Nine inches on the 28. Corey Coleman, I believe, still receptionless, which is very surprising. He tend to have big first halves. As on third and inches, Moses Cody finds a wide open Corey Coleman, who makes it to the five. First and goal of the five. 22 seconds left. Moses Cody, it's going to be another screen to Johnson, the running back. Johnson is in. Touchdown Browns! And they make it a one possession game with 17 seconds left in the hand. Roberto Wild missed three kicks last week and it's blocked! Picked up by the Steelers! There goes the big man! Warner! Can he make it all the way? Can Cody Kessler track him down? He breaks a tackle and the Steelers score two as the half is almost one over. One second left! Third and ten, the Steelers deciding to go along here. Hopefully they don't pull off an Aaron Rodgers. I'm a Lions fan, so I'm a bit salty about that. Is it's incomplete? That's how your half ends. Brown six, Steelers twelve. The Browns offense coming off a nice touchdown drive on their last drive of the first half. As Cody scrambling under pressure, and he gets sacked on the first play from scrimmage by Jelani Jenkins. His first sack of the day. And Sixteen on the nineteen. Moses Cody scrambling. Cody looking for a win for a boy ain't no one near him. There goes the flash as he makes it all the way to the 30. The very next play after the 52 yard game by Boye having a big day today. As Cody over to Johnson. Johnson first down. There he goes. He chokes a defender. Spin move and he makes it all the way to the seven. His fourth rush today. Somehow, some way. That's all. That's not all. Third and goal on the two. Is Harbaugh going to pass it? Harbaugh's going to pass it. As Cody finds, I believe that's where short Higgins it is. Touchdown. Cleveland Browns as they can take the lead. Three on the 33 four. The Pittsburgh Steelers. As it's going to be hit off to Bell. But he is stuffed up by Marvin Fulcher. Third and four on the 31 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bell, Roethlisberger. And the backfield is Roethlisberger gets sacked by Gabriel Roundtree. And five on the 37 for the Steelers. Or sorry, for the Browns. Roethlisberger gives it to Johnson. Johnson, first down, it's fumbled! Picked up by Pittsburgh! And that's a momentum changer of a veteran, former Florida State Seminole, I believe. Lawrence Tennant with a recovery. Second and ten on the 38 for the Steelers. Bell and Roethlisberger in the backfield as Roethlisberger finds Marcus Wheaton. Third and one on the 14 for Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger is going to be a patch. He finds a Darius Green who makes it to the four. Gain of ten. And goal on the one. This might be the last play of the quarter. Or it will be. Roethlisberger under pressure. He is sacked by the safety. DJ Tubbs. Four of the 33 for the Cleveland Browns. David Johnson, Moses Cody in the backfield. Moses Cody scrambling to his right. Cody finds a wide open Corey Coleman who gets by the 15 of a 43. 10 of a 43 after a nice play by Coleman. Cody hands it off to David Johnson. Johnson, first down. Johnson has room. Johnson could have had a block, but he makes it to the 21. Nice run by David Johnson. The very next play, first and 10 on the 21. Cody 
Hands it back off to Johnson on the same play. And Johnson makes it to the one. Very close to the end zone. Second and goal on the one. Cody gives it to David Johnson. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. First and ten on the 25 for the Steelers. It's going to be a fake. Roethlisberger sacked by size teeth, young blood, and other Browns defenders. Third and 18 for the Brown uh, Sorry, for the Steelers. On the... It's the Pittsburgh 17 as Roethlisberger under pressure and Seisig Youngblood is there. Marvin Fulcher also showed up. Marvin Files of a 34. The follows Jim Harbaugh, I would not mind doing a run play here. Kashim Riley running back to the backfield, it's going to be a pass. Cody looking for Corey Coleman. First down, Coleman! He makes it to the six, and there's a player down. No. I think it's Corey Coleman. It's Moses Cody. That might be even worse for Browns quarterback. Moses Cody is down. Cody Kessler will be coming in relief. That is a killer. Remember in week 16 in real life, Derek Carr, he got severely injured in the Raiders. They uh, just wasn't good. As David Johnson runs in the end zone, Four of a touchdown, but I'm pretty sure everything on these Browns players' minds is their quarterback, Moses Cody. Moses Cody dislocated his hip and will not return to today's game. That is a killer. First and ten on the 46 for the Steelers. Big Ben taking his time. It's going to be a pass. Roethlisberger finds Marcus Wheaton. Wheaton first down. Second and ten on the 32. Four of the Steelers. Roethlisberger and Bell in the Steelers' backfield. Wait, er, sorry, Ben Roethlisberger. Looking for Marcus Wheaton again as Wheaton's been, been Roethlisberger's favorite target today. Take a look. Or no, Mark Davis Bryant's number two. Oh, my gosh. I thought I, I probably said that was Marcus Wheaton like five times. I kept calling um, Martavis Bryant Marcus Wheaton. I've probably called Marcus Wheaton Martavis Bryant. As it's four for three, the Steelers don't have much of it other than a choice to go for it. And Le'Veon Bell is stopped. He gains two of the Browns regain possession. And potentially, this most likely, this whole game. Unlike his rookie season, Moses Cody's been very healthy this year. He did get injured in the second quarter or so of week five, missed the rest of that game. But other than that, he's made every start this year. As Kessler looking for Kashim Riley, and he is stuffed up. Two minute warning now. First and ten on the 24 of Steelers. Not a very good situation for them. As Rothwitz Burgers intercepted by Marvin Fulcher! Touchdown, Browns! I think his first career interception may have been a pick six, too. It might be Ronnie on that one. And the Browns have officially pretty much won this game. And inches on the five for the Steelers. Roethlisberger looking for green. Touchdown, Steelers. The Cleveland Browns are NFC no or AFC North champions, and they will be going to the playoffs for the first time. In a while. It must be exciting in Cleveland, however, they don't have their quarterback. Moses Cody will be out for the rest of the playoffs.